All right, so today I'm going to be doing a beginner tutorial for HeyReach, which is a LinkedIn outreach platform. This platform allows you to automatically reach out to people using LinkedIn, using a variety of different workflows. So I just want to jump straight in and show you how you can use the platform. If you want to check it out, you can click the first link in the description below. It's an affiliate link. It helps support me and helps me get paid if you want to use the platform. Or if you hate me, you don't have to use it. But anyways, you can jump over to their website. It's heyreach.io and you can get started for free. Now, when you make an account and you jump into a platform, Form, you're going to see a dashboard that might look something like this. Now I use HeyReach as an agency. And so things might look a little bit different here because we do cold outreach on behalf of our customers and we send upwards of a million outreach messages per month. HeyReach is one of the tools we use. And so this is the agency perspective. Now, if you have an agency account, you will see two tabs here. Now I'm going to jump into a single workspace. You can see more specifically what that looks like. So I'm going to press over here in the top right, and I'm just going to click into one of these accounts. Now you can see this workspace. So this workspace is basically a specific bucket where I'm grouping some of the campaigns and the accounts. Again, if you're just using this for yourself, you're probably only going to need one workspace because you don't need to subdivide things up. If you're on an agency, you can have multiple different kind of sub workspaces. That way you can separate out your clients. Now I'm going to go over here and click through all the tabs on the left hand side. Now this tab that I'm on right now is the analytics tab. This shows me all the stats across all the campaigns. So you can see the amount of connection requests are being sent, the amount that are accepted, the messages sent, the replies, the in mails and in mail replies. Now I primarily use here reach to do connection request campaigns. But you can also do straight up messaging campaigns to people you're already connected with. And you can do in-mail campaigns, which is a feature inside of LinkedIn where you can kind of reach out to people that haven't connected with you. You can sub segment this by the different senders. Senders is just a way that they call LinkedIn accounts. So you can connect to multiple LinkedIn accounts. So if you want to check performance by account, you can do that. You can also do it by campaign and you can also do it by date range. Very straightforward. Now moving over here to the left hand side, I'm going to go over to the LinkedIn accounts tab. This is where you can connect LinkedIn accounts for outreach. Now, the way that HeyReach charges, they charge per LinkedIn account connected. Now you can see here per sender at $79 per month. If you bump it up, then I think they give you a little bit of discounts. And then if you keep bumping it up and they give you better pricing, they have an unlimited package for $2,000 a month. Anyways here. So this is the LinkedIn account section. Now, if you want to purchase seats, you can do that here. If you want to connect an account, you do that here. Now, whenever you're connecting a LinkedIn account, which is probably the first thing you're going to want to do if you sign up to the platform, you can log in with extension. You can log in with your normal credentials or what is recommended by their platform is this infinite login. Basically what this infinite login is, is it doesn't just try and log into your LinkedIn account using your username and password. It also grabs a two factor authenticator code. That way it's less likely to get disconnected. And then if it does get disconnected, it can automatically reconnect and look a lot more human. So if you click into here, it'll walk you through a bunch of different instructions. Now, I don't want to do this for the sake of this video. It's very straightforward. You can read the instructions here. Basically, you either say yes or no, you don't have two factor authentication. If you don't, it'll prompt you how to get it. If you do, it'll prompt you how to grab it again. And then it'll ask you for your login credentials. This way, HeyReach can log in your LinkedIn account so it can do actions on your behalf. Now, the other cool thing, which I'm not going to demonstrate because I'm not going to create a new account here, is you can set the location where it logs in from. Now, you want to be mimicking human behavior. So if I live in the United States, they can log in using an IP address that's based in the United States to make your account and your actions you're doing more legitimate. Now, if you want to configure your limits so you can make sure that you're not oversending on your LinkedIn account, which is very important. If you send too many outreach messages, it'll either kind of break your campaigns too early because you'll hit your limits or alternatively, it can make it more likely that your LinkedIn account gets suspended. So if you want to configure your limits here, you can click into an account and then it'll show you all the different settings that you want to have between, you know, what times a day you want to be sending and all the different sub features here, like how many in mails, how many messages and all of that jazz. So you're definitely going to want to do that. I would say less is more. I think LinkedIn has a hard cap for connection requests about 200 per week. And then it fluctuates between 100 and 200 per week, depending on how many of your connection requests are getting accepted. LinkedIn favors people that are getting more connection request acceptances because it shows that you're doing kind of normal human behavior. In any case, if you want to connect an account, you do that here. It's probably the first thing you want to do on the platform. Now, moving on, this is the lead section. So whenever you want to run campaigns, let's say you want to reach out to people, whether that's message people, whether that's connect with new people, send them in mails, you're going to want to tell, hey, reach what kind of leads you want to reach out to here. Now to do this, you can simply add leads. Now it gives you a bunch of different ways you can scrape people. You can either go to LinkedIn search bar, pay some stuff here, press continue and have it kind of scrape based off of what you're searching for on LinkedIn. You can use sales navigator, which I really like this. If you want to get granular with your searching, I believe you need a sales navigator license to be able to do this. So that costs another $99 a month or so LinkedIn recruiter. If you're doing a recruiting campaign events and posts, this is really cool because if there's a post and it has a ton of engagement, you want to reach out to people and say, Hey, Susie, I saw you engage with this post is a really personal outreach strategy you can do importing from CSV. This is really good. If you want to scrape from an external lead source, 
source. So if you're using an Apollo, a Zoom Info, some sort of lead source like that, where you're getting leads externally and you want to plug into the platform, this is a great way to do that. And then there's a couple of different other methods here where you're reaching out to companies, again, doing the same stuff. So if you want to upload leads, very straightforward. Again, if I want to upload a CSV, I can press continue. I can upload a spreadsheet and ta-da, we have leads that we can now reach out to. Now, moving on, this next section here is my network, where I think this is useful if you want to reach out to people you're already connected with. So if I want to make a campaign and filter and check out people that I'm already connected with, I can do that here. You can select different modes so I can tick some of these people, export to my CRM, add it to a list. So you can do all kinds of stuff here with people you're already connected with, which could be useful. Campaigns, which we'll get to here in a second. This is where you can upload people, reach out to the people. I'm going to run a campaign with you together here. And then Unibox. Unibox, this is where you can respond to all the incoming messages. You can see all the different conversations and you can jump in here and respond to people directly in the platform. So if you're running outreach campaigns, people start responding. You respond directly back in HeyReach. That way, it's really useful if you're managing multiple accounts so you don't have to log into each and every account. Last thing I'm going to do is integrations before building out a campaign here. Integrations, this is useful if you want to automate things, which I love to automate things. What you can do here is set up any one of these integrations with these tools. As an example, they have Instantly, which is a cold email tool. They have RB2B, which is a tool that can grab different people that are visiting your website. And they have all the other automation tools and CRMs that you can sync with. What's really cool about the integrations is you can set up custom workflows. So as an example, one of the workflows I like to use these automations for is sending over interested leads from SmartLead over to Clay, enriching their data and sending over to HeyReach. So the way that that works is we have SmartLead here. I'm just going to put SL for SmartLead, which is a cold email tool, cold email. Then we filter for positive replies. I'm going to put PR for positive replies here. So this is anyone that says that they're interested. Then we send it over to Clay, which is an enrichment tool, which can grab their lead data. We fill out all the lead data that's necessary to make sure that they're a fit. And then we send it over to HeyReach. I'm going to put HR for HeyReach to do a connection request. And the purpose of this workflow is that anyone who's basically interested from a cold email, we grab their data, we send it over to a couple platforms, and now we can send a CR. I'm getting all kinds of abbreviations here, but this is a connection request. So basically we can take someone that said they were interested over email, shoot them a connection request, say, hey, we shot you an email very nice workflow so you can re-engage leads better so there's lots of stuff you can do here i like the web hook for a lot of the different things or clay and then there's all these other different integrations we, you can use all these other settings pretty straightforward now main thing that i think is useful to show the capabilities of hayreach is to build a campaign so i'm going to go over here to the campaign section here on the left hand side and i'm going to press start a new campaign i'm going to name this test campaign and i'm going to press create and so now that i created a campaign now it's going to ask me where do i want to get the leads now if you were in the last section where you added the leads already Already. You can just click into here, click into one of these lists and upload those people. Or you can create an empty list, fill out stuff yourself. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to press this random list here and I'm going to import these 2,400 or so people. Now, if I want to exclude people and make sure that I don't reach out to people, I can add a list here to make sure that they don't get reached out to. Now, there's a couple other boxes you can tick here. Exclude leads connected to other HeyReach campaigns. So if someone exists in a different campaign and you want to make sure you're not reaching out to other people, you can tick this box. Exclude leads managed by other senders. So if you have multiple LinkedIn accounts, you're doing outreach from and you want to make sure that you're not kind of overlapping between those accounts you can tick that box and then exclude leads contained by same sender from other hey reach campaign again same thing these are basically all different exclusion options to make sure that you are not reaching out to people that exist in other campaigns i'm just going to press continue here now it's going to ask which linkedin account or accounts you want to use i'm going to press this account here and i'm going to press continue now it's giving me a message saying hey if your linkedin accounts are in multiple campaigns just be careful don't worry about this here is where you can create a campaign. Now there's two ways you can create a campaign. You can either import from templates. So HeyReach already has a bunch of pre put together templates here that you can reference. So if I want to do this value first outreach one, I can press confirm and then ta-da, it already built out this big fancy campaign, which I don't know all, <laughs> what all this stuff here does, but you can see it's already built out. So you can see if someone's connected, send them a view profile, then send them a message and blah, 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 blah. Or if they're not connected, then send them a connection request and blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to get rid of this and I'm going to build one from scratch. So let's say you want to do a super simple campaign. As an example, upload this list, check to see if they're connected. If you are connected with them, send them a message. And if you're not connected with them, connect with them. Very simple. So I'm going to do this if connection button here. So first we're going to check if they're connected or not. So you can see it already branches into buckets here if they're not connected or if they are connected. And then if they're not connected, then we can add an action here to send a connection request. Very straightforward. Now you can see there are a couple options here. If you want to add a chat GPT personalized message, you can enable this here. If you want to just type out a message. This is kind of in the initial outreach message. You can say, hi, first name would love to connect. And it's going to pull the first name tab from all the stuff that you uploaded in earlier. Now this tab below here, this fallback message, this is in case the first message
message fails for whatever reason. Now it says here, always have a fallback message without any variables. This will be used if some variables can't be found. So as an example, if you're trying to reference their company and their company doesn't exist, you want to have a message that is just generic. That way you're not saying something that sounds really awkward. Alternatively, something else you can do is you can just make your connection request blank. I know some people run split tests and found that if you have no connection request message, that can help improve your connection rate. But in any case, I'm just going to press save here and just leave it blank. You first check to see if someone is connected. If they're not connected, then send them a connection request. And then you can even do more tree branches. So if it's been five days and they haven't accepted yet, then you can add another thing like liking their posts or viewing their profile. Or if they do accept, then you can send them a message or do something along those lines. Now in this video, I'm not going to build a full crazy complex campaign because everyone's needs are different. You might be using this for sales. You might be using this for recruitment. You might be using this for all kinds of different reasons. Or if you just want to reach out to your existing connection request. So the exact type of campaign you're going to build might vary depending on what you need. But as you can see here, you can build these tree branches as far and as wide as you want. You can check to see if their profile is open for an email. You can send them a message. You can view their profile. You can like their post. You can add them to instantly, which is a cold email tool. You can find their email, all kinds of different stuff here. Now, if you're happy with your campaign, you can press continue and then you can press launch. And if you do this, then your campaign is going to go live and you're going to start sending outreach messages and you can see all of that data inside of the analytics and in the Unibox tab. So that's how you use HeyReach. If you want to work with an agency to see if we can help do cold outreach on your behalf so you can book more meetings, you can check one of the links in the description below and apply to work with us. Otherwise, if you want a bunch more free cold outreach videos, you can check out all the other videos on the channel so you can see how you can book more meetings. Appreciate you a ton. Have a great rest of your day.